according to Miss Pass, I tore her hair out while taking a quick week. Okay. So I just want to show you guys something that's gonna take her by surprise. <laughs> Wait, this is Wait, a quick week. You just yanked her hair. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> this is. Were you even ready for that? That would have hurt. You can't take that out. But but it hurt. Why if, I, I'm <laughs> sorry. I had to catch you off guard. You, you gotta so let her know. Be realistic, <laughs> right? So if oh, I take a quick oh. weed out. <laughs> and this glue like that, you will scream and holler. She says the trauma she had from the Wait, 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 but how fresh is your quick weave, though? Just two weeks old. Two weeks old. Wouldn't you say that it would be a little easier to pull off? Well, that's the catch. When I told her about going to the beauty supply store, she started reapplying the glue herself. Also, she's been putting stuff in that's for itching. That loosens up your base of your quick weave. So now when you're reapplying the glue, you have broke your mold and you're gluing the hair actually on your hair at this point. I see. A about the coloring, you asked if she had henna. That's what you asked for, right? Yes, I did, but she said she didn't have it. She told me she had another dye that she could dye my hair with. But at that time, see, I was not even aware that my hair was in that condition. She should have said, Miss Paz, I don't recommend that you put any dye in your head. But what I'm confused by is the photo of your hair braided. Mm -hmm. You have gray hair. She recommended me to go to Walmart and get this cream to put on my hair. So that's cream that I rubbed in there. You know, if you look at the doctor's notes, he'll tell you, because I uh, told him what she had told him. That's the cream that she had. Miss Pass, now, come on now. Here's a picture, a close-up. Mm -hmm. Look at your roots. Mm -hmm. That is not cream. That's gray hair. Well, I do have gray hair, but I did put cream in there, too. It was white cream. I see spots, but the bulk of this is not cream. It is white hair. I have one final question. Let's say that she had left the quick weave in for, for two months, not reglued it, but just let it stay for two months. What would have happened? It would have came off itself. Okay. It hanging. would have just fallen off. Yeah. Okay. It, yeah. it couldn't have stayed it's, in for two months yeah. without reglue. You got to, yeah, right. it's, it's not right. meant to last. All okay. right. I, I, I think we have yeah. it. Thank you okay. both very much. We're going to excuse you while we, we deliberate. Okay. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. It's courtroom is now in recess. The ladies will have you next to the well, this one is a doozy. <laughs> I feel more like a detective today than I do a judge almost. So I think the one thing we do know for sure is that a quick weave does not stay in your hair for two months unless you re-glue it. And we know the defendant didn't re-glue it, so that means the plaintiff had to. Otherwise, it would just fall out. It would be impossible for her to simply continue along on her way for two months and the quick weave stay put and look moderately acceptable. I think that's key here because we've been trying to unpack who is telling us the truth and who is lying. Right. Because every critical event here, somebody has a different version of events. She, she admits that she, you know, re-glued that little portion, but she denies putting glue, and we know that had to have happened. I think that has to serve here as our barometer for whose testimony we can accept and, as true. And the defendant clearly indicated, and it would seem to make a lot of sense, that it was standard practice to tell the client that, you know, this doesn't last for more than two weeks. We also have the plaintiff's dermatologist notes. They indicate that she was a regular patient of the dermatologist and that she has suffered hair loss for years. That's all I needed. It comes down to credibility. It really does. And, and I don't find that the plaintiff is credible because we had text proof. We had a witness here today for the defendant who heard the plaintiff tell the defendant that she had glued in her own quick weave. So that for me did it along with the dermatology report. Yeah, at the end of the day, she hasn't satisfied her burden, and I think that's unanimous. Yes. Yep.